you guys about Bambi TV so today I'm checking out one for recommendation guys this video is actually sponsored by Koei guys and make this video possible so please guys make sure you check them out in my link below guys today I'm checking out a uh, dog's harem whoa guys the name sounds somehow a uh, dog's harem what is the meaning of harem harem guys please tell me in the comment section guys like Yo, guys, if you're new here, please to like, share, subscribe to my channel, please join my family, guys. Guys, let's go straight into this. Can we keep dog as a pet or for security reasons? As a pet, it is totally prohibited. Guys, please, please. I, I really, like, God, me seeing this video is a blessing to my life. Because like I've I've heard something about this that Muslims don't like talk so like me watching this is gonna like I want to know about this like I'm anticipating for it. Guys, let's continue. The Prophet said Alayhi Salatu uh, that angels do not enter a house where there's a portrait, a statue, or a dog. And he said that whoever Whoa. keeps a dog other than a dog of uh, uh, a shepherd dog or a dog for hunting or guarding then each day out of his own good deeds Allah will erase and deduct the weight of Mount Uhud of good deeds of Hasanat a relative actually oh. who has a chihuahua in his house and so many times our relatives tried to give him advice and he said oh it's cute it's lovely it's this it's that so I said to him listen do you have enough good deeds every single day that would equal Mount Uhud in Hasanat he said not even one tenth of that I said to him then in this case you're in debt because every day this is being erased and deducted from your good deeds and this my friend means that you're in real deep trouble so this oh. is not permissible. Now, for security reasons, this is permissible, providing that these reasons are legitimate. So again, keeping a chihuahua in your house is not for security reasons. It can be yeah. for a cat. So if you have a German Shepherd, a Doberman, something that is really vicious, and there is a need for it, that you are in a really disturbed environment or neighborhood that you fear for your life and without that they would not be deterred from breaking into your house this seems to be permissible providing that you keep the dog outside the house and not allowing it to enter the house and along with the yeah so most people get the impression that uh, muslims <clears throat> somehow have something against dogs so we, we need to go back and see where this uh, comes from first we look at the quran to see if the quran says anything about dogs and then we go to the traditions and, and we put everything together well the quran actually doesn't say anything negative about dogs in fact there is something positive because in the story of the uh, youth who hid in the cave in the 18th uh, chapter of the quran the 18th chapter uh, we have it that uh, they had a companion, a dog. Uh, and um, uh, many commentators say that this dog will also be in paradise. Now we know that nothing impure or unclean will be in paradise, uh, and, but this dog will, will be there. So uh, some will say, okay, but God will make this dog pure, so it will be in paradise. Uh, but nevertheless, the, the Quran does not show anything negative about the dog and doesn't show that the dog is impure. On the other hand, there is uh, actually a mention in the Quran that uh, the food that is procured for Muslims through by means of their hunting animals uh, is permissible to, to eat. This is specifically mentioned in the fourth verse of the fifth chapter of the Quran. Uh, and uh, among the hunting animals there were dogs uh, at the time. So it is well known that the dog would go hunt the animal uh, or at least retrieve the, the animal that may have been killed by a spear or arrow. The dog would go retrieve it and bring it. So the dog comes with the animal in its mouth. Something with the saliva of the dog is impure, but this seems to speak against that because of the, obviously the saliva of the dog gets mingled with the meat which it brings to its uh, master. So from the Quranic perspective, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with dogs and dogs may be good hunting animals and the meat that they bring in their mouths are, are good for Muslims to, to eat. Obviously after washing and so on as we would treat any other meat. 
Um, so where does this idea come from that dogs are somehow impure? Well, it could be that uh, at the time there, there were some dogs which were rabid and uh, the best way of, of dealing with that situation to protect the population was to euthanize some, some dogs. And as the people remembered the tradition, they just remembered that dogs were euthanized without remembering the reason behind it. So it's not mentioned that the dogs were rabid, but that would be a good reason why dogs were euthanized. Otherwise, there'd be no good reason. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything fundamentally wrong with, with dogs, per se. Uh, and that's why, obviously, an uh, exception was made for the hunting dog and the guard dog and, 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 uh, and so on. We should be very kind to all living creatures. There is a reward in everything that is living, everything that has a liver, subhanallah. There is a narration of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wherein he speaks about someone who was kind to a dog and earned the forgiveness of Allah as a result. And there are certain restrictions when it comes to our relation with a dog. But at the same time, it was the case in order to prove to us that we should never be unkind to any animal, no matter what it is. Guys, I feel I understand the points now, like, like, I understand it, but you know, when someone tells you something, guys, like, I don't like it, uh, like, you need to know why, like, I feel I get it now, like, like, the picture is opened, like, it's beautiful, like, the reason is stated here, guys, because it's, it's the thoughts from your blessing, but, I get it. But why? I don't see get why you can keep that a threat though. Like, <clears throat> since he said, like, you love it, like, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to help all creatures on it, so why not keep it as a threat? I understand the fact that, like, you're not supposed to, it's supposed to be main need for hunting or guiding, like, that reason is good. Like, I understand it. Me, if I want to get a dog, it's supposed to be one of those reasons. Not hunting, though, like, security. This was nice, guys. I enjoyed it. Like, I love this journey I'm taking. Like, it's opening my mindset. Like, it's making me understand things. Like, it's giving me more knowledge about life, and I love it. Guys, please sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more reactions like this, guys, please leave your suggestion in my comment section, guys. Be make sure you visit Koi out in my description below, guys. I'll see you next time, guys, please.